a 69 uh, Volkswagen Beetle. This uh, I picked up, uh, I don't know, a few months ago. I got a little, I might be able, maybe I'll put it on the end of the video of me going to get it. It's actually where I grew up, up in uh, Vermont. Anyways, we polished it all up, got it all together, did a new interior in it, uh, new seat covers, new carpet. Anyways, it's doing something really funny with the way it runs. And I want to show you guys, it's going to be kind of a quick video, but I want to show you because it's surprising what it actually is. And I'm kind of guessing at it, but I'm almost positive I know what it is because I've seen it before. And we'll go back here. I've already done a compression test on the engine. Compression test came out about 150 across the board. It's a pretty new engine. And something when I was doing the compression test, and let's go back here and check it out because you're going to be surprised what it is. And I'm going to, let's just go check, let's check, let's check it out. All right. Here we go. Anyways, so I checked everything. Obviously, it has spark. It's not running really well. What I'll do is set you up over here, show you how it's running. It's going to blow out some smoke. You'll see. You'll, like I and, said, you'll uh, be surprised what it is. I, I, I'm not surprised. I've seen it before, but I want to show you because it could be something you could really easily yourself diagnose on one of these air-cooled VWs. So said, we did a compression test on this, and... It came back good across the board. It was 150 across the board. This is a pretty new engine. Now, I pulled plugs out. Anybody want to comment about this plug? That why it should not be in this car? All right, I'm going to tell you. NGK. Do not put NGKs. Even though it's it's sacrilegious because it's not a Bosch. NGKs will not run in these cars. I'm going to prove this point right now. I'm going to uh, change them all out for Bosch. The correct plugs that this is supposed to take, which is this one right here. And this is a non-resisted plug. Now, resisted plugs are so you don't get any kind of interference with the radio or any kind of weird noises and that sort of thing. Well, I believe that these cars need to have the resistor and the spark plug for them to run correctly. Now this is the R on this is considered that that's for resistor. This this plug has no R in it, and just NGKs just don't work well in these cars. So those are junk, and I will never use them again in a car. I don't use them in cars anyways. So this is the plug you should have in a Beetle. It's the right heat range. You don't want to go obviously too hot with these. Yada yada yada, all that fun stuff. So we're gonna pull these plugs out and put the correct plugs in it, and I'm gonna show you how it runs right now. And it doesn't run well. The one thing I do like to do is I like to check the gap on these plugs. Now the thing about Beetles and buses, well not all the buses, the bay window bus is a little different with gap, but early buses and Beetles, the gap is it's kind of a range, but I always do 26. And they usually are come a little tight, which this one's a little tight. And I'd go in and out a couple times, make sure it's perfect, that one's perfect. Grab another one, same thing. If you drop them, recheck them. If you get a box that looks like it's a little crushed, definitely check that. And depending on your spark plugs, but most of the time these have the plugs that don't take the little nub. So you have to take that off so it's threaded. Don't forget, because you put them all on and then forget. <laughs> you can take them all back out again. If you can't get to them. All right, we're gonna get these changed out. Real quick.
All right. NGK. See ya. Oh, here's another one. Um, yeah, just, yeah, try to gap these, put them in here. You do not want to cross thread these. I've had to fix them many times. If it doesn't go in by hand, it's, it's not right. Or there's a lot of carbon on the threads, but usually that comes off when you pull them off. Hey, if you guys like what you see, please subscribe. Hit that like button. I'm trying to keep this channel going. And I'm really enjoying it, so. And I love the comments, I love your comments, and you guys have been great. Love the support. Two, one. Let's just double check. Did someone marked this. Wonder who that someone was. <laughs> Don't know. All right. There's three. All right. There's that one. All right. We'll get the other two. You get the idea. Be right back. All right. We've got all the plugs changed out to the correct ones. They're all gapped. Let's see how she runs now. I, I almost positive. This is gonna be it, right here. Much better. Absolutely much better. The first part of that, the choke was still on. But now, running nice and smooth, no smoke. As you can see, I'll show you the no smoke. No smoke whatsoever. Running super smooth. The airbag is back on. Starts perfect. Remember, no NGKs. Get rid of them. Throw them in the trash. Keep them on the floor. Right there. <laughs> All right, guys. Just picking up this NGK off the uh, floor here to throw it in that garbage can. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, please keep tuning in. There's going to be more stuff on the channel. I got some really cool stuff coming up. We got a video coming out probably Wednesday uh, of a place I got a call, and the gentleman wants me to come over and get some of his cars running. They're not air cooled. There is one air cooled car there. Oh, no, there's two. Uh, Anyways, they're really neat. They're American cars, and I think it's going to be cool. Diesels, all sorts of cool stuff. So, you know, hit that thumbs up, subscribe. I love the comments. I've been trying to answer all the comments and the questions. Anything you guys have, feel free to do it. I love doing this. It's fun. Again, thanks. Subscribe, guys. Tune in. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.